What did we learn about the future of retail when the world's stores had to close? When the pandemic hit, many retailers hit the wall. Stores closed, staff were let go, sites crashed, platforms slowed, supply chains struggled, stock levels dropped, even Amazon switched to essential supplies, and global deliveries stopped. In just a few months, we discovered that our plans for digital transformation had a fatal flaw. We'd focused on winning the deal and closing the sale. We'd built customer funnels, not customer experiences. By optimizing our technology to focus on transactions, we'd missed the opportunity to fundamentally reimagine the store. When all was said and done, our so-called digital world was just a broken analog one. The pandemic helped us see the cracks in the way that retail worked, where investment was missing and what more needed to be done. The future of retail had to be more than buying online or buying from your phone, same day delivery or delivery from a drone. If the coronavirus showed us one thing, it was how much we still clung to the past. How is it that our online stores still had checkouts and virtual shopping carts? Why do we list as many products as a screen will allow and fill our pages with buttons that scream, buy now, complex shipping options, standard, express, prime or mail, as if at the heart of our 21st century systems was a dime store on clearance sale. In the new world that is coming, there are three promises that retailers need to keep. Promise number one, tell better brand stories than anyone else. Manufacturers build brands, but retailers bring it to life. So if you're gonna sell spirits, don't just try and win on inventory and price. Build a community, create content, and start a channel to bring it alive. If your customers are on phones, don't just target them with ads. Turn your stores into studios and start selling live. Consider what happens in China, where consumers spend billions on live streams, from houses to cars, food to clothes, even Fashion Week in Shanghai, was streamed on a screen. Promise number two, make the transaction disappear. In a world of endless choices, experiences are key. And the best kind of transactions are the ones you don't see. Do you even know what you paid for your last Uber ride? How about your last coffee when you tap to pay? Do you calculate the average cost of the movies on Netflix that you watch? How about the songs that you listen to on Spotify? When retail, is an experience that lives on an app. Buying is not a transaction, it's just another tap. Promise number three, organize my life for me. I know it sounds strange that a retailer should organize and orchestrate a consumer's life, but hear me out. Consider Amazon's plans for Alexa, smart homes and AI, or in China, where they're investing now in automated stores, robots and smart delivery you'll see that it's much more than just making a sale. It's about winning a war for lifestyle design. What if we stripped the customer journey of every annoying detail and task? What if we ship consumers goods before they even had to ask? This is what retail needs to be. This needs to be your next action. The future is not pushing consumers through some kind of funnel. It's about creating pocket universes full of brands and stories and delight. What if you used your customer data not to market and sell, but to optimize happiness, prosperity, and staying well? Experiences are what matter, not transactions. COVID-19 gave us a glimpse of tomorrow, even in this time of strife. What if the retailer of the future was not a store at all, but an operating system for daily life?